melted. Go to your foot. The other night, fucking Arvington, two black guys jumped me outside a bar. I think there would be so many around to make trouble. He's lying about what happened to his foot. Another batch. Uh. Ooh, when Tony finds out. Wait the check, please. The young man took care of it. You're lucky you don't get your head in the deal. Dad. Let's get something straight. You eat, I pay. <laughs> Mr. Soprano, when you have your old family, you pay. What? It's that big a deal? Let's go. You did some... He did something nice. What's the problem? Pilish, I didn't mean to bite your head off. <laughs> no, it's fine. I didn't mean to overstep. I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, you're a good guy. Uh, I respect you trying. So was your father in a rush now or something? No. So he was tired. Is she feeling some type of way because he didn't come in? Thank God. It's the last thing I needed was to talk to him. Stop fronting. You wanted him to come in. There's a little car line behind him. Payback that whore, he was fucking Lorraine Caluso. You don't know that for sure, John. A little car line knew how fond I was of this kid, Tony. Mm. Johnny knows. Anything from your cop? <laughs> he knows. Some homeless fuck saw a guy limping away. A guy limping. Sure. Tony. It's your cousin. He's thinking about his foot. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's a main coffee king. <laughs> You're right. Look, is it his heart? No, it's this fucking weather, sudden change. Tony. Tony realized that it's his cousin. <laughs> of course, no one wants all-out conflict. They could come out west with you. They have to blow off the law center. Is that what you want to do? I don't know. Do you want me to come out? If you want to. No, you need to stay. Mm. It's roasting in here. It's 10.30. We can still get into a movie. Buy an AC. I don't know. You say. They look both sweaty. No, you. <laughs> as far as handling it, I'm afraid I have to accuse myself. What do you mean? Why? Your husband had been in to see me for a consultation last year. My husband hired you? No. But based on a prior meeting, the Code of Professional Responsibility precludes me from representing you because of that consultation. What? <sighs> Jesus Christ. If you like, I can recommend a colleague. Someone your husband has been contaminated. Well, Contaminated? Yeah. The bear's back! We're going to die, sack. Boy, he about to get him. You're limping. He knows it was you. Turns out somebody got a look at the guy that did Joe Peeps. Oh, they got so far, she's got a bad limb. Huh. Long John Silver, maybe. Where the fuck did you get the balls? And don't look at me like I'm a fucking jerk-off. Because I'm sick of you leaning on this cousin thinking that bad hijack like you can do whatever the fuck it is you want to do. Because you went away that night, and I did. You're the one who keeps bringing that up. <sighs> I had nothing to do with this. Don't fucking lie to me. Even if I was, would you really want to know? Wow. I'm going to let it slip one time. You got an IQ of 158. She told you that? It's the week you got tested. All the fucking nuns were raving about it. Look, a guy like you, brains, balls. If you'd fucking be straight with me, I could use all that. Mm -hmm. Put me in, coach. All right, we got the casino on Bluefield Avenue above the hardware store. Carlos guy was running it, but he just got diagnosed with the Hodgkins. A lot of fucking money there. I'll see what I can do about getting you straightened out. Oh, gosh. I'll put up the books for you. It's long overdue. I thought Tony would be more mad. <laughs> Camilla and I slept together. It was nice. <laughs> it's very ironic. She's wearing that perfume that she wears. That perfume. <laughs> What they were starved for, and honestly, I'm the only man she's ever been with. Mm -mm. Did you discuss it? Nah, I left before she woke up. Tony is a hot mess. First, you wanted Dr. Melfi. 
And then you wanted Andrea or Adriana. Then you slept with Carmelo. He's, uh, he's a mess. I handled a case once where the husband owned vending machines. In less than a week, he outlined 11 years of income. Mm. And we're talking coins. Carmelo going to take Tony for everything he hey, got. Grab a fork and some lights off. Scrub off my tires. Hey, Detrolio. You need something to do? You're fucking lost. Come on. Oh, Lord. Polly's annoying. I'm not here to clean your dog Are shit. Come in yet? I don't know. Who Meadow? What are you talking about? Meadow Soprano. That's her boyfriend. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got her boyfriend trying to clean your car. There he is. <laughs> I can't find any Lysol. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Meadow. Now he's going to get buddy. You take her someplace nice. Make sure you tell it from Uncle Paul. <laughs> Thank you. I, that's really nice. Hey, give me that shit. Polly! <laughs> He's like... Get the home. Yeah. That's how they are. I have asked for lunch to tell you that I'm filing for divorce. Mm. I hope you brought your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Except the fact that I am moving on with my life. That's what you were doing after the party last week? I think you and I both know that didn't change anything. Yeah, well, first it did. of all, we're Italian. We don't believe in divorce. Are you listening to yourself? <laughs> I have an attorney who is going to aggressively pursue my custody of AJ and also an equitable distribution of our assets. Our assets? <laughs> oh, so it's fucking money. That's all this is to you? Go stand over there. I'll call you when I'm ready. You want money? How about my 40 grand? You're still out of the bird feeder. That should be plenty. You're such an investment genius. You want this to get ugly, Tony? Because these guys live for that. Oh, you think I don't? Oh, shit. The only reason you have anything is because of my fucking sweat. And you know every step of the way exactly how it works. But you walk around that fucking mansion in your $500 shoes. And you act like butter would melt in your mouth. Mm. You don't want it to get ugly. I want what I am entitled to. You're entitled to shit. <laughs> She's ready to order. <laughs> Damn. Gonna be an ugly divorce with these two. I guess we get along. Who's this chick? He's always flirting. He's okay. Look at him looking at her drawers. The main thing is that he's a good person. <sighs> So the puppies gave your boys a shellac. Look at this motherfucker with a fan. That's true. You know who he looks like? That guy from Aerosmith, Joe Perry. Do me a favor, huh? Hold this. You're right. I'm sorry. I meant to hit you in the fucking mouth. Good lord. Yeah, he's not used to that shit. He's like, what is this? You've been sick all day. Why don't you take the day off? What about him? When these civilians call the cops? What? I think they seen a couple of niggas running that way. <gasps> He's so sweet. Sweet? He was like an animal. <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna be able to work there. This dude is traumatized. Ew, they look so sweaty. Get an AC. You should have seen these guys. They were laughing. It was fucking sick. I mean, is this what you grew up with? Mm. What are you talking about? These people, your dad's friends. And didn't you tell me you had a boyfriend once who was killed, shot to death or something? Mm. First of all, he was killed by drug dealers. African Americans, if that makes you feel any better. The truth is, they bring certain modes of conflict resolution from all the way back in the old country. Conflict resolution? The property of the Mezzogiorno. Where all higher authority was corrupt. This motherfucker's at the funeral, even though he knows he was behind the shooting. Johnny knows. I'm sorry about the stone. It was a mistake. We'll fix it. Guess who we saw on the Upper West Side the other night? Your fucking cousin Tony. What does that mean? The same night Joey bought it? Would you flip your Maserati hit your fucking head? You two faced fuck. Oh, take it easy. Mm. Fucking cocksucker. Mm -hmm. I should fucking kill him. And your cousin next. Oh, right, come on. Let's take a walk. Johnny is heated. You go out there, you shake his hand, 
and you put this fucking shit to bed. Shake his hand? And he kisses the kid's mother? That's the way it works, John. You know that. Let me spy it three blocks away. By Mickey Farrell. You're gonna bleed some drunken Irish fucking prick. Have a drink. Have a drink. We were looking for his daughter, John. Because she fucking disappeared. We heard Kelly had been living with some fucking crackhead up there. Tony, you're lying for Tony. Get some of your people on. <laughs> you're lying for your cousin. I swear on my mother, Tony. If I find out, you're lying. Oh, you're lying. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. And John's going to find out he's lying. <laughs> to tell you the truth, after the other day, I really don't want to say the wrong thing. You see? This kid's all right. How's it? We got the good donuts today. We got the good donuts. He don't want to sit with y'all, motherfuckers. <laughs> He's like, no. If I say the wrong thing, they're gonna beat my ass and shove these donuts up my ass too. You got any idea the money in that casino? To give it to Tony B? They finally showing like Christopher. Christopher. <laughs> gets a fucking promotion. Now he's talking about getting a maid, Tony B. Really? Guy gets out of jail. Suddenly I'm dog shit in Tony's eye. <laughs> it's true. Ever since I cleaned up, it's always some shit. Side deals, secret promises, he's always got an agenda. <laughs> he's jealous. You're no, jealous of the other Tony. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Busted. Oh no. Is he gonna kill him now because he found out that he's gay? Oh no! Hold on. Sound like a racehorse pissing in there. <laughs> you know, I never asked you what your last name is. Oh no. Petroleum. I keep telling you, you shouldn't work so hard. Long hours. I just do what the job is. You know you can call me Vito. So say it. Let me hear you say, what's up, Vito? What's up, Vito? Not much, Finn. <laughs> I got a little surprise for you. <laughs> Shit. Oh, God. That's really nice, Vito, but I I'm, don't know if I can... Don't pull that all shut shit with me. I don't like to miss the national anthem. Oh, gosh. Are they going to do something to him? He's like, geez, what am I gonna do? He's gonna end up breaking up with Meadow. It's too much. He came on to me, all right? Either that or he wants to kill me. What? I saw him blowing some security guard in the parking lot. When? <laughs> I seriously doubt he wants to kill you. Well, maybe he wants to fuck me and then kill me. Uh -huh. Is that why you got out the suitcase? I am not going back to the site. Do you have any idea the strings my father pulled to get you that job? No, no, are you not listening? This whole thing, the fight, the stuff with Vito, it's really about you not wanting to commit. Oh, I'm Lord. Right we fucking live together. But you got out of suitcase. I was thinking. Thinking of leaving. No. Well, yes, but I'm still here. I didn't go. Fuck you. No, no. Can we just stop fighting? <laughs> you got out of suitcase. I'll put it back, okay? <laughs> Meadow's pissed. How dare you pull out a suitcase? This motherfucker. What is he trying to do? It's really simple. Are we going to stay together or not? If you want. That's not what I asked. If you want. And then you said, how are we going to keep it together through four years of dental school for you and probably med school for me? Meadow has bad luck with guys. He's falling asleep. You were! <laughs> and now you're gonna lie like you did about the suitcase! I did not He's lie. He's tired, Beto! How can you sleep when we're in the middle of this? <laughs> in the middle of what? All I said was I didn't want to go back to the job site. You went right to the closet and got out your suitcase! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my gosh. He's like, it's four in the morning. I need to get some sleep. Oh, they do have an AC. It's broken. Need to replace that motherfucker. Well, I put a call into Phil Cantor a few days ago, the forensic accountant. The one with the vending machines. Suddenly he called and said he wasn't interested. So I called another accountant. 
And? When he heard your husband was the defendant, he demurred as well. <laughs> well, what does this mean? You don't want the case? Damn. She can't even get an attorney. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Is he in danger of losing the foot or? Fuck his foot. It's not his foot. Forget the foot. <laughs> Forget the foot. I worry about him. He, he's, he's, the reason he went to prison is he got pitched hijacking a truckload of beta boxes and I, and I was supposed to be there the night of the jack. Hmm. Why didn't you go? I jumped by a bunch of moving yards. They were trying to take my shoes. Fucking jigaboo cocksucking motherfuckers. Okay, forget that. Jeez. Your cousin went to prison. And that's why you favored Tony Uncle Al. You know, 17 years, I did so good. He, he lost his wife. Maybe if you came clean with him. Oh, uh, no. You're going to have a panic go, attack go, there? Go on, go, on, go on what you were saying. Are you having an attack now? No, no. I had a huge lunch, that's all. It's, it's gas. Anthony? All right, the night he got pinched, I had a fucking panic attack, all right? From my mother, God damn it. I didn't even know what it was then. Please, focus. <coughs> I've got my medical bag in case. He's never had an attack in front of her. I had a fight with my mother and I had a fucking panic attack. Okay, forget that for now. Close your eyes. Hmm? Focus on your breathing. So I said to her, I said, come on, I love you. You know, you gotta understand, she's got a three-month-old. So I left. I walked out the door. I went over to the car, opened the door, boom. Cut my fucking head open. Oh. And your cousin doesn't know this. Oh, I lied. What am I going to tell him? What am I going to tell all of them? Oh. <sighs> Ooh, revelation. That's a lot to get off your chest. Mm-hmm. Hello? Mom? I'm engaged. <laughs> what? Ben proposed. We're getting married. Oh, Lord. Are you sure? I said, I mean, that's wonderful. We're both finishing school. We're Look not at Tony in the pool. Degrees. This is so exciting. I can't wait for you to meet his parents. And he's so sweet. Oh. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Look at this one. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was my reaction to The Sopranos, season five, episode nine, unidentified black males. It's a good episode. Um, Tony basically figured out that Steve Buscemi was behind that killing, that shooting, and uh, he wasn't too happy about it. But he still reacted in a way I didn't expect. I thought he was gonna like do something to Steve Buscemi, but I guess he has all this guilt. And they kind of hit on that at the end of the episode when Tony's talking to Dr. Melfi. He's basically, he basically, uh, has a panic attack for the first time in front of her and then admits that the night that I guess he was supposed to do a job that Steve Buscemi got stuck with he had a panic attack after arguing with his mother hit his head wasn't able to do the job Steve Buscemi did it and he got 17 years mm. then Meadow's boyfriend um, gets a job on the construction site thanks to Tony and he witnesses the guys getting into a fight which traumatizes him <laughs> and the big revelation he wit witnesses Vito going down on somebody on another guy so now Vito's all scared because his secret is out I guess mm -mm -mm. wonder how that's gonna play out he better not kill Meadows man just because he knows about that shit I'd be surprised though if he did Carmela's trying to get it you know the divorce going with Tony and she can't seem to find an attorney to save her life <laughs> every attorney that finds out that Tony is her husband is like nope next don't want to work that one <sighs> and they end the episode with Meadow saying that they're in that her and her man are engaged it's a good episode make sure to give this video a thumbs up drop a comment down below share my video and if you're not a subscriber subscribe Sopranos season 5 episode 9 done Bye, guys.